Ming Sun Benevolent Association Society Day was proclaimed by the City of Vancouver April 4, 2010. Now the City of Vancouver is ordering the demolition of Ming Sun's building on Powell Street in the downtown east side for Monday, December the 9th, 2013. A media briefing and public support to stay the demolition was hastily organized December 6, 2013 at the Japanese Language Center and Hall. The Ming Sun Benevolent Association gathered some of its supporters, including the Main Floor Instant Coffee Arts Collective and displaced seniors and low-income tenants. David and Richard Wong of Ming Sun, Jihan Ko of the Instant Coffee, and Linda Reed of the National Nikkei Museum gave presentations on the social, cultural, and historical significance of the building. There appears to be many questions to the circumstances leading to the demolition order, especially on the role of the City of Vancouver and the demolition of the building next door. Also its relationship to the developers, who is assembling the properties on both sides of the Ming Sun building. After the media briefing, supporters were allowed access to the building. I got photographs of this place before. Yeah, two days after they turn on next door building, this place is still being mopped and cleaned. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? We're walking. No clothes, not even a sound of squeak. No. So the building is solid, solid, you know? Access Community Television is pleased to distribute an excerpt from the presentation of Richard Wong, a Ming Sun member and descendant of one of the founders. The former name was called Ming Sun Reading Room. So that after work, Friends from the same village, same clan, can get together, read newspaper, refer jobs, see how they can contribute to this country and this community, even though they are not allowed to be Canadian, have no right to vote. So, gradually, they put up the money, one by one, they got sort of make up the seed money and then buy property. And then, about 80 years ago, then we purchased this property gradually. Originally, is to house a single uh, a man for who had need help financially, have no place to, 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 to stay and so on. And gradually, as the family uh, make their way of living, then our rooms open up for the senior and now open up for all ethnic. Among our tenants, we have elder Chinese, we have First Nation, we have Japanese, and also on the ground floor, we have the young artists like Jin, and Caucasian artists and Chinese artists together. We charge absolutely below market, below welfare rent. We subsidize. We are the one who believe in pay back to the community by subsidizing to the community so that to provide housing to the really needed one right at the bottom, bottom of our society. So all of a sudden, our elder, Mr. Bing Wong, was, is not here. Our building had been experienced fire. He has been an engineer, so he instrumentally and put up a lot of work and so on, put, up a, put on a new roof, renovated room by room, then the room is in good shape. Gene, you are the tenant, you know. We are grateful you organized this press conference. That reflect the satisfactory, the appreciation of our tenant. We are not a bad landlord. We are the one that being appreciated. So all of a sudden, one day, we saw on the news, next door, somehow, had been claimed by the city, being unsafe in the morning, I believe. And that same night, we don't understand why the city would pay double time 
for the people to demolate the building at night. Why is that? What happened to our taxpayers' money? What was the urgency to bring down the building so rushed? And also, I understand, Jin can tell me that. They are not even, I think the fire, uh, uh, the uh, firemen didn't even wait for our tenant. They kick off the, the doors, broke the doors, and rush in in the name of trying to help the tenants out. <laughs> Without even really have a formal and professional evaluation of next door, as well as our building. So, what we were, we've been very patient. As David say, we don't believe in confrontation. We don't believe in court cause because that is not going anywhere. That's why I believe that within one week, we've been up, we have met a city official, right? So we've been meeting over and over again. No, no, I mean, right after the, 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 the uh, condemnation of our, our building. Within less than a week, we met up with them. So we met them with our, all our elders and so on, with an impression. You know what, after that meeting, We've been have given the impression that city will help us to do whatever possible to help us to 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 we will pay the the get repair the building so that we want our tenant move back as quickly as possible. Okay, we 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 have the, have done that. And then the building inspector, the fire inspector, came down next day. We went to the building, the fire inspector, the building inspector, just said, everything is fine. No problem. We had no, no problem. The building is fully sprinkled. And we have an annual inspection, all passed. And even the day that after our meeting, the inspector went down there, they said, oh, you know, Mr. Wong's, all minor stuff, all routine maintenance, no, but no problem. And then the city called for a structural engineering report, which we had engaged the, one of the best professional engineers, structural engineering firm, done a report. What did they say? No problem, solid as uh, still. No sticking doors, no everything square and solid. No problems at all. So, what is the problem? Why our building had to be demolished? We try our best. We anticipate that there will be vandalism will take place. That's why we engage 24 hour on site security. But our resource is limited. Just for the security bill, we, our association, have paid over $14,000 of security bill. 16000 Now, so ladies and gentlemen, as a non-profit, not-for-profit organization, we mention benevolent association, society, is here to serve our community, to serve the needed one in our community. City, please help us. Help us to restore our building. Let our tenants go back to their homes, go back to their studio, and continue to contribute, contribute to the development of this wonderful city.